Congratulations, you five ladies no longer have to pretend to be attracted to Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein's alleged sexual misconduct has been an open secret in Hollywood for decades. And I think there's a lot of reasons for that. One of them is definitely the power dynamic. He is a person who had a lot of power, and the women who claimed to be his victims usually did not. They were at the start of their careers. They maybe didn't feel like they had a recourse to talk about it. There was a sense that there wouldn't necessarily be any accountability for somebody of Harvey Weinstein's stature. He was known especially for producing movies that got you to the Oscar, which is what every actor and filmmaker wants to get. Thank you, Harvey Weinstein. One of the interesting things about this case is there were a few examples of it coming to light in pop culture. You know, the very people who were affected in some way or at least knew about this misbehavior were addressing it. Has someone coerced you into being here? <laughs> Do you count Harvey Weinstein as a coercer? Uh, uh, now, Harvey, Harvey Weinstein is a, as a uh, I, I don't know whether he's in some kind of organized crime now. In 1998, Gwyneth Paltrow appeared on David Letterman. She was starring in Shakespeare in Love at the time, the movie that ultimately got her an Oscar thanks to Harvey Weinstein's savvy Oscar campaigning. She mentioned him on the show in a way that, in retrospect, raised a red flag. So Harvey said, I tell you what, go on and, and, and talk about your movie. Is that what Harvey said? Yeah. And, and in return, what will Harvey do for you? <laughs> Nothing. Asia Argento, the actress and filmmaker, wrote a scene that was said to be inspired by Harvey in her film Scarlet Diva. It's a harrowing moment. I'm not the big bad wolf. Just think of me as a teddy bear. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you suck it? On a red carpet, Courtney Love even referenced Harvey Weinstein's reputation in Hollywood. Do you have any advice for a young girl moving to Hollywood? Like Harvey Weinstein invites you to a private party in four seasons. Yeah. The HBO series Entourage, which skewered Hollywood culture, had a character named Harvey Weingarten that bore more than a passing resemblance. Do you know who I am? You gotta beg to get back into the pizza business. Harvey Weinstein has been thanked possibly more than any other person from the Oscar stage. Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein. Harvey. But Kate um. Winslet pointedly left him out of her acceptance speech for the reader. She didn't mention any sexual misconduct, but she said that he had been very difficult to deal with on set. Some of the most pointed commentary came from episodes of 30 Rock, in which an actress character referenced having to have a relationship with Harvey. You don't want to mess with Weird Al. Oh, please. I'm not afraid of anyone in show business. I turned down intercourse with Harvey Weinstein on no less than three occasions. I think it's interesting to see this stuff pop up in pop culture. It may have been an outlet for these writers and directors. If they didn't feel they could address this in an institutional way, in a legal way, they could at least address it in the work that they did. I know how former lovers can have a hold over you long after they're gone. In some ways, I'm still pinned under a passed-out Harvey Weinstein, and it's Thanksgiving.